when did you know you were going to start? Um, I had a pretty good fall camp, I would say, and it was something I was shooting for this off season, and I knew I never wanted to quit until I was there. So going into this game week, I had a pretty good feeling I would get the start. But I mean, with the group of receivers we got, it doesn't matter who's out there the first play. It matters. I mean, you want to be the guy in there the last play, or and we got a pretty good rotation there. So I feel really good about that. Did you say that you did well in camp or you? Um, just being consistent every play, running full speed routes, blocking every play, and I made quite a few good plays, I'd say, so. What was your review, just the offense as a whole, how you played, you had to watch it back? On the game? Yeah. Um, I feel like we never really established the run game early on, and that's a big part. I figured, I mean, it was kind of surprising to me because I felt really good about our run game going into it. and. I just felt like we kind of had some big plays out of Oliver and some other receivers. And I just feel like we, we stepped up in our passing game. But again, there's, there's some things we need to improve on. But it should be a lot better this week. I understand if receiver would bring, bring up the run game. What, what, have you, what did you guys work on today? What did you talk about after the game about why it didn't work? Um, as a receiver in the run game, we're a big part of that too. I mean, any play that breaks the line is, is going to be on us. So that's something where if it's man coverage, we got to run guys off. And I feel like we did a pretty good job with that. And there's just a lot of parts to us in the run game that we can take steps up into for this next game. Why? what can you guys get out of a week like this? You're playing an FCS opponent, lesser scholarships, kind of a, a lower opponent. What, what do you hope to gain in a game like this against Florida? It's just a good game for guys to get their, their feet back under themselves and us as a team to make a statement, make some plays. Um, I'd never heard of the team, so I'm sure they're going to come in here and give us their best effort. Um, any team that gets to come into the stadium and play us is going to give us their everything. So we got to show up and give them everything we got. On the uh, almost touchdown, uh, you that in the second quarter. Is there anything you could have done differently, or is that just a ball that's just a little out of reach? Um, that's one I'd like to have back. I mean, us as receivers, we got to make our quarterback look good. And I feel like, I mean, I could have, I could have made that play, but again, it's it's a tough catch and a tough throw. But um, yeah, that's one I wish I could have had back. What kind of message? What kind of vibe did you have from the offensive coaches um, today? Getting back out there. Um, of course, there were things we needed to fix. We, we watched the tape early this morning, got those things behind us, and then move on to the next week. And there was a lot of intensity at practice. We had a great practice today, I'd say. And it was just a good turn the page moment today, I would say, all around. Was it kind of a wake up call this game? Just like, you guys have a long ways to go, maybe? At the yeah, it, it was really surprising to me. But I mean, it's certainly not the way you want to start your season, but it's gonna gonna look even better when we get this thing turned around and we can look back on that. So, you guys got called for an OPI on one of those pick plays. Obviously, that's kind of a, a gray area in the officiating. How, how do you kind of balance getting in the way, but also trying to? Yeah, like that's that? that's a play we ran all week, all week of practice really well, and it's just something that you gotta you gotta make it look like you're running a route, but in your mind you want to get a rub on that guy, so you got to get in his way and then continue to run your route. And it's something that we need to keep working on. And I think we can use, utilize it a lot more in our offense. Oliver obviously had a big day statistically. I, you kind of saw that coming though, right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good dude. Um, I expect him to make a lot of plays like that all season. He can, be, he can be a guy like that every game for us. And that really just him doing that is a reflection that all, a lot of us in the receiver room can do that too. So I expect a lot of guys to step up like that. Do you expect that competition in your position group? I know camp ends and guys are slotted in certain spots, but do you expect that to remain pretty pretty intense throughout the season? Every season? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of guys in our room that can that can play, and that's something that every, you got to show up every week of practice and put in the work. The game's won Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the week before the game, and that's something we take a lot of pride on is practicing hard during the week, and then and then that gives you a good start to the game. Well, you, you've been a part of this team, obviously, after losses. Was today any different than maybe some of the losses in the past? Um, I saw a lot of fight out of the guys today. 
I mean, we cut the music off at practice, so we had to bring our own energy today. And there, there was a lot of guys hooping and hollering and picking guys up, and we, the attention to details was just really a focus today, and, and it felt really good. How does that make you feel in terms of reassuring that maybe that there's a lot of football left? Yeah, yes. of course, first game like that, there's a long season left, and there was a lot of guys that were picking each other up. I mean, the leader stepped up and assured that we had a good practice today. And that's big going into this next week. No music at all, or did they cut it off at some point? There's no music at all. Whose idea was that? Uh, I'm not sure. There's... Not sure. Was that the first time you haven't done that in Nebraska since you've been? Uh, yeah, usually we're blaring music, you know, just to um, represent like the crowd noise and such. So more focus now. Yeah.